um, welcome to my channel, all things with Sarah. My channel is going to be about health, fashion, travel, lifestyle. And um, I just basically want to tell you a bit about myself. It's just me inviting you to look into my life and hopefully you take away some useful information that you might be able to apply to your life. It's not to like shove anything down your throat or to tell you what to do. It's just about what you take from it, you do. Um, I'm a plant-based eater and I'll tell you a bit more about that as we go along. So um, I eat whole food, some people think, where do you eat, what do you eat? Um, and today we're gonna find that out. I thought it'd be a great way to start my channel, to go to a place that, um, where I can eat the kind of foods that I like to eat. Because in actual fact, I don't actually tend to go out to eat um, since I've become a plant-based eater. Not because there isn't any places, there's plenty of places you can go wherever really, there's always options. But I've just never been to a place solely based um, on plant-based eating. So today we're here at Deputy Park and we're gonna check it out. I might like it, I might not I might not like it. Um, but you're gonna come on the journey with me and I'm here with my friend um, Ant Vice, who's got um, a lifestyle blog for millennials and not a plant-based eater, he's a carnivore, what I like to call meat eaters, and um, basically we're going to check out the Deputy Bar and I'm inviting him into my world, just like I'm inviting you. Come with me, let's go and let's check out Redemption Bar. <laughs> Right, Ed. <laughs> Yo. So um, we're in Redemption Bar. Redemption Bar. Doing a joint review. My first vegan review. I don't normally go to vegan restaurants, but I'm trying to eat a healthier lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So we're lovely. checking out the menu. Yeah, check out the menu. Miss Tara brought me here, so I'm gonna check out. It's really weird, but normally I go to default like. Where's the meat option, where's the pork option, or the chicken option, and because that's not there, it's like what sounds the nicest or what will I gain the most from. So I'm, it's it's kind of changing how I look at food. It's more about what am I, what's going to benefit me in flavors. Right. Normally it's just what is the biggest, what is the taste of it. This is really good. Plant-based, vegan. So I'm really excited. It's a lot of nice. I look at the goodness and stuff whilst I day now. But in terms of the drink, she seems to make a quick choice. Yeah, definitely. Maybe because you know, for you it might be limited. For me, it's like a lot of Yeah, stuff. yeah. We'll see how it goes. Um, I got the, um, the detox I got the superhero shake. Protein rich shake, almond, banana, blueberries, and all that good stuff. Yeah, apparently it's good for if you've just had a workout and stuff. Yep, trying to get them gains. Mm. <laughs> Ads ordered the superhero shake, which is good for after a workout, and I ordered the redemption detox tea, which is good for cleansing the emphatic system, the liver, and the kidneys, etc. So, how did Redemption come about, Redemption Box? Well, um, we came up with the idea because we thought there was a gap in the market, so there's no way it's doing um, totally vegan and alcohol-free, and, okay. and it's wheat-free and low in natural sugars as well, so okay. um, we thought there was a gap in the market, mm -hmm. and we also thought it's nice to give people space away from temptation, because everywhere yeah. you go in London, why is your socialising always be at the expense of your health? Exactly. Every time. Exactly. So um, this is a kind of experiment really. So right. I think people are going to support it. And yeah. Like, oh, Yummy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Sweet corn and pepper pancakes. And buckwheat pancakes. That looks delicious. Yeah. It tastes Yeah. Mm. 
Um, yeah, so um, what did you think of your buckwheat pancakes? Yeah, it was good. It was, it was definitely an interesting experience because it was really flavoursome, quite tasty, and I didn't miss not having eggs. It was a different taste. Right. There was something cleaned as pay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was something in the sauce, the white sauce, the white one. It tasted a bit cheesy, but obviously I know it's not cheesy. That was interesting. I think it was probably some kind of yogurt. Like yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't a big fan of that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. But I was, I was right, but it was good really to have. Are you a cheese person to begin with? I like cheese, but I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't normally have, I don't like kind of bread. So oh, right. Oh, okay. Okay. It was good, though. It mm -hmm. was really good. Like, you know, I love fruit, so. Right. Right. Okay, well, I thoroughly enjoyed my sweet corn and pepper pancakes. I think it's a little bit of wheat and stuff. And here they try the organic where they can. I love that. They had pepper, they had ginger, they had all the things I love. And a pancake, I'm a pancake upset. And it's free, egg free, dairy free. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's like a little bit of crunch, slash crunch to that. But it's still a little bit like this. So, yeah, I think I'm going to try this. There's no pineapple inside your cheesecake. But if you want, I can get you a good one. Do people who aren't vegan um, come through here, or are you not able to tell, like, Who's not? Yeah, I don't ask him. Oh, okay. Think, um, some people say, oh, I'm vegan and this is the best vegan mm -hmm. ever. Some mm -hmm. people say, I'm really skeptical. Like, it's often, I'm really skeptical. The jokes will say, uh, I'm really yeah, skeptical. Yeah, I'm yeah. Yeah. I really love it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, hopefully, we're sort of converting a few people. And I don't think you need to be vegan to enjoy it. Right. You're just having one plant-based meal, aren't you? Yeah. It's not saying, oh, I'm changing my whole life. Exactly. So that's what we're saying. Hopefully, people won't feel that it's too sort of. Uh, exactly, it doesn't hurt to come at least just hurt. for a, you know one day a week or one whenever. Decision, one yeah, big decision one. Helps, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. we've got another one in Notting Hill. Uh -huh. So um, similar size to this one. Okay. So quite nice and small. Okay. Um, and yeah, we've had that for a few months. So Is it like the same menu and stuff? So exactly the same menu. Okay. Yeah. So ads. Overall, yeah. what would you rate your experience? Yeah. Overall, yeah. 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 Overall yeah. what would you rate your experience? Um, stuff. Fantastic. Food is really presented well, really tasteful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely recommend anyone coming in. Okay. What did you think of it? Um, I loved it. There were so many options for me. Um, but um, I'll say that it was the portions were sort of small um, and not quite fit, but um, at the same time, it's not quite fitting actually. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And, I'm definitely going to be a regular here, like for sure. Um, I love the boots and it had all the things that I need as a plant based eater. And even if you're not a plant based eater, having one meal a day or one meal a week at this kind of place is like, it's really not much. It's you doing something good for yourself.